open up my heart and you'll find you don't ever have to look too far you don't have to cover up your scars you're perfect darling just the way you are so before you think to rip yourself apart open up my heart and you'll find love love Good morning, Keep It Crazy family. Okay, so I got this question uh, um, in one of our videos and I thought, what a great topic to talk about. It's not something we've covered a lot, I think here and there in videos we have, but I don't think we've done a whole video around this topic. So it's from Jenna Sue. Crystal, I have a question. When you were writing the notes, so she was talking about how I was putting notes in the kids' lunch boxes on the first day of school. I was wondering, um, so say a child has not yet called you mom and still called you Crystal, would you then sign their note differently by putting Crystal or still sign it mom? Okay, so that's actually a really, really great question, Jenna. Okay, so it depends on the situation. And when it comes to doing foster care and different kids that we've, like we fostered over 34 kids. Every kid was a completely different comfort level. A lot of times in foster care, the goal is reunification. And so we have a conversation, depending on the kid's age and understanding, um, that they can call us whenever they want to call us. Whether it's Auntie Crystal or Mama Crystal or Mommy versus Mama or Mom or whatever the case is, um, we would then respect that kid's um, wishes and I would have probably signed the note that. Um, so that's for foster care placements. As far as for adoption placements, I have always, at least in my experience, I've signed it mom because that's what we're going to be, whether the adoption paperwork is our final or not. But I feel like that's usually the comfort level that we've always been at and always had that open communication with the kids. And I feel like at first it is easier for the kids to see it in a note. And or they write us a note and they'll sign it in there first before you like say it in person. You know what I mean? That kind of like thing. Like your birthday so, cards. Yeah, like my birthday cards um, is the first time Rylan and Bella signed mom in there. So Liam had called me mom before that, but and I and it was like under his breath as he was walking away, and I was like, oh, did he just? Say it? <laughs> but it just gives you butterflies. And I think it's it's interesting. So, like, from my mentality as a parent, the moment that... So, when we brought Alex and Hannah into our house, the moment we said yes to move them into our house, I had already made the switch in my head that I was their parent. Because we brought them into our house with adoption in mind. Like, that's that was Bicycle. the end goal. That was... And, and the same thing with Bella, Rylan, and Liam is... When we said, yes, let's move them in to see if it's a good placement, I already made that switch in my head that I'm already their parents. Whether they agree with that or not, I don't know. But that's, to me, they how did. I thought about they it. They did. You know what they I mean? So, I, and I understand it takes them a while to get to that comfort level to, to call you that. And to whatnot, say it out but, loud is a lot. Yeah. So I thought it would be really fun to go around and get some of the kids' opinions on how long it took them to call us mom and dad and what kind of their thoughts. Obviously, we already know the answers, but a lot of you guys don't. But on some of them, it's been so long that I actually don't know if I remember I because I it was just so them, organic, yeah. I guess. But um, obviously, Aurora and Brody were really little. We got Aurora from the hospital, so she's always called us mom and dad. And Brody was a year and a half old, so he's always called us mom and dad. So... Those two, it was just happened in the natural way. So the topic of today is when you guys called us mom and dad for the first time and how did it feel and like, when were you comfortable with that? I don't even remember, it was so long ago. I know, I'm trying like, to think too. I'm, just, I'm trying to think, cause I do not remember. It was like, it's nine. So it was like, okay, I'm trying to think, I don't. So Hannah came into the family when she was nine. Yeah. I want to say it was within like a couple weeks. Like, I think it was fast. No, I don't remember it being fast. I feel like it was just like medium. I feel like it wasn't like fast, but it wasn't like slow. It was just like, I think it just like happened. I don't know. 
But this I happened when the moment I was right. I remember being like super like, oh, was that okay? Like, I remember it being like, oh, is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like when you say I love you for the first time. Yeah. And then you're like, are they going to say it back? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like that feeling. Yeah. But... It's, it's definitely like that feeling. Yeah. And I, I think the feelings all around it as well are very similar to that. Because you want to say you love somebody, something to someone that you love, but you don't know how, if they truly feel the same way back, if they're going to... You know, say that back to you, and so I think that's yeah, that plays a lot. Into How did it. you guys feel? <laughs> I love it. Like the first time they call you mom and dad, it's like like butterflies. It's like your heart skips a beat, and it's just like, and it just feels so special, and like you feel honored, and you feel the love, and I don't know. It's just you can't even explain it. Like it's hard to explain. It's, it's unique, right? So when you have a child from birth who grows up not communicating and then suddenly communicates and starts calling you mom or dad, like there's one feeling there. But then it's different for a child that's like grown and they already talk and like you have all these conversations with them and then suddenly it's like calling yeah. it. Yeah, and it's just like it's just a di- it, it's same but different. I, it, I don't know. It's, it gives you the same great feeling, but yeah. I would say it was the same for me because Max, Hallie, and Logan all said mom first. And Traitors. that's why he, <laughs> he might say it's a little different, but I remember feeling that excitement and that love and that just like you feel just so honored. And so I don't know. It's okay. She's worth saying at first. Aww. He was bitter about it, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to be first? <laughs> Max, it was funny. <laughs> so funny. I walk around the corner. <laughs> no. And literally, Max is wearing a business suit. It was the cutest thing. <laughs> Wait, we have to see it on you now. No. Let's see it. No. It looked really good. Yeah. Huh. Did you I have a, a? I want to get a nice suit. Did you have a thought with it, or why were we putting this on? I don't know. I just I found it a while ago, and it, but it was too long. So. Oh, and now it's actually a really good size. Uh, no, because I want the bottom to stick out a little bit, but it doesn't. Like uh, the bottom when you put on one of the shirts. Oh, gotcha. So it's, it's just a little too big, but. Oh, okay, I love it. You're looking at black hole. Well, the sun. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We wouldn't even see the end of the of the black hole. Cause oh. how big it is, that's all the sun. He's looking at black holes. That's pretty interesting. So the question or the topic of today, your hair looks good. It's sticking up right there. It's fine. It looks great. Okay, how long did it take you, and how long or was it until you felt comfortable calling us mom and dad? Um, I think it was after the adoption. Or it was on your birthday. Yeah, it was on your birthday. Yeah, so he first did it in a card. That's actually a little fun fact. Um, he wrote it in my birthday card, and that was the first time, which I thought was so special and so sweet. And I was like, oh. And then actually in person, I think it was right before the adoption. Yes. When we were in Florida, right? Did it feel weird, or did it feel like just natural? Natural. Natural? Me too. Aww. Love you. Thank you. You are a great bed maker, Liam. This is looking good. Your guys' room looks great. There's just a couple things on the floor. Do you need help on homework? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Mom. Go get it. Yeah. What happened to your pillow? I don't know. We can sew it up. You know who's the best sewer in the house? Me. Savannah. Savannah? That's you. Yeah. Are you good at sewing? Yeah. How long did it take for you to call us mom and dad, and how did it feel at first? Um, from when, when you I came, so they came in June of last year. Wait, from when I got adopted, or just no, just from when you came into the house. Um, I think it was fast. Kind of was, but kind of wasn't. Kind of wasn't. Yeah. I think it was at like the one or two month mark. And then I'm trying to yeah. remember. Yeah, it was. I remember you saying it as you were kind of like walking away. And I, I was like, did he just call me mom? And I was like, oh! <laughs> I didn't think you heard it. I heard it. And I went to the room and I was like, ah! but I didn't know how to like make it awkward and be like, did you just call me mom? Okay, how did it feel? Was it just like natural or was it a little like... It was a little weird. It was a little weird? Yeah. 
after not saying it for a while. Oh yeah, because you guys didn't have a mom in your life for a while. Yeah. So then it took a little bit. Is it weird now? Is it weird now? No. no. Now it just feels natural, huh? Like it's always been that way. Now I, I see your name like ten times. Yeah. Like, a lot. Every day. Now I hear mom, mom, mom. Yeah. But I love it. Every time yeah, I hear yeah, it, it makes me you. happy. Brody did too, like mom, mom, mom. Never mind. That's yes. Right. He did that to me yesterday. He did? Yeah. He, he called Rylan, you mom? Rylan, I'm just kidding. He did that to me. Like, Rylan, Rylan, Rylan. And I was like, what? And he's like, never mind. <laughs> what did you do? I ripped off skin. How did you do that? I just ripped it off. It was bothering me. The teens are now home from high school. How was your guys' day? Eh. I mean, just like, <laughs> just like any other day. <laughs> it's a day, they said. <laughs> it's, it's a school day. It's a school day. Okay, so uh, how long did it take you to call us mom and dad? I think like a month and a half. Yeah. I think it was around there. It's so hard to remember like exact because it just like happened. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, <laughs> literally... The night before I started calling you guys mom and dad, I was talking to Ariana and I was like, Ariana, how long did it take you to call them mom and dad? And she was like, like around a month. I was like, okay. So it like boosted me to start calling you guys. So I was like, okay. Was it like awkward at first or did it just feel like, hey mom? Um, I wouldn't say it was awkward, but it was different. Different. I felt like, and I was saying this earlier, but I feel like it was like, when you say I love you to somebody for the first time, mm -hmm. then it's like, like you're not sure. I don't know, but it just like, I don't know. I don't yeah. Know if that makes any sense. All right, Bella. <laughs> I love that you have Chick-fil-A right now. How did you get it so fast? Your door dash. <laughs> Your door dash. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Mom got the notification. <laughs> Um, I do get the notification. Oh, it took me until I think the day after, no, the day of my adoption. I know, so it was really sweet. Um, so right after their adoption, we'd come back to the Airbnb house and she came over and, well, I forgot, I don't know. Cause I've been, I've been wanting to see it. And so after we cracked the Jews, I came up to you guys and I was like, thank you mom and dad for this trip or something like that. Yes, that's what it was. And it was so sweet. And we shared this like amazing hug in the kitchen right afterwards. And I just like, oh, I just wanted to like cry, but I felt like it was just such a special moment. I loved it. Yeah, it was, it was kind of weird for me at first because I hadn't called anybody mom in like seven years. So like calling somebody else mom for the first time in seven years was really like different. But yeah. now I'm used to it. Yeah. Now she's like, mom, mom, mom. I call her mommy. Mommy. Oh I my love gosh. it. Okay, she left me a sticky note up on my desk the other day and I saw it in the morning and I was like, oh, I'll have to show you guys it in a second. But you know what's funny about what you just said? Because she was not here when we filmed Liam's and he said almost the exact same words. Mm -hmm. Like he said because he hadn't called somebody mom in so long that it was weird for him. And so just like at first, not weird, but just different. And so that's yeah. funny that you guys said the same thing. Even though you weren't together. He's what? I'm in the meep car. He's in the meep car. Oh, you're in Hannah's car. Yeah. Question, how long did it take you to call us mom and dad? Uh, I think, I think just for me, maybe like a month or so in. It wasn't that long. Yeah, it was fast, huh? Yeah. Was it awkward at first or did it feel weird? Yeah, just because... You go from calling someone else mom like two weeks ago and now you're calling someone else mom. I think that's why it takes some people a little longer. For me, it was just normal. Like your guardians or the people who want you are like mom and dad. Um, but you guys actually felt like parents. So I guess that's why it was more comfortable. So did you call um, like every home that were you in? Did you call them mom and dad pretty quickly? Uh, not quickly, but I did call them that. Everyone except the group homes. But I didn't know what to call them because they were staff members. So we called them by their first name, so it was weird. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's the only question I had. But I love you. I love you too. Aurora loves you. Love you too, Aurora. All right, bye. Bye, we'll be there soon. Oh, okay.
All right, bye. Lucas just got back from picking up Jake. Jake's doing football. Yay. <laughs> okay, how long did it take for you to call us mom and dad? I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. You don't remember either? Savannah and I weren't sure either. Yeah, I think it was like a month, month and a half maybe. Did it feel weird at first or did it feel just like natural? Uh, it felt natural to me. I was kind of upset. It. Yeah, I agree. There it is from Lucas's mouth. I'm just kidding. <laughs> How was your day at school? Oh, she said your hand. You okay? Oh, not your driving hand. He's been driving all over the place. You know what makes everything better? What? This happens with the world too. That made it feel better. Oh, he Thanks. kissed it. <laughs> so Jake was actually at five when he came into our house and he called us mom and dad within like a week. Like it was really, really fast. And it's always just been that way. I don't know, it just felt, yeah, it just felt natural. You were young. But he was little, he was like this high. <laughs> and then he went to this high. We don't know what happened. <laughs> Alright, so to just kind of summarize, every situation is completely different. Every kid is completely different and it depends on their age and their situation and just everything they've been through in their past. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Have her from the sky,